Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-91 from RC Hippaler Engineering and Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force acting at point A. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to find the coordinates of A, B and C. So the coordinates of point A are 0, 0, 6 meters. The coordinates of point B are, for the coordinates of the point B, I have to draw the projection of the position vector RAB on the XY plane. That would look something like this. And then I have to resolve it along the X and the Y axes. So this right here is 4.5 sine 45 degrees and this right here is 4.5 cos 45 degrees. So the coordinates of point B are, it is positive 4.5 sine 45 degrees, comma negative 4.5 cos 45 degrees. The y component is negative because it is acting in the opposite direction of the positive y axis, comma 0 meters. When we simplify it, it becomes 3.182, comma negative 3.182, comma 0 meters. The coordinates of point C are, it is negative 3 in the x axis, negative 6 in the y axis, and zero in the z-axis. So these are our coordinates. Now to find the resultant force, I can write the resultant force as vector sum of the forces FAB and FAC is equal to the resultant force. Now to find the FAC force in the Cartesian vector form, it can be written as the magnitude FAC and the unit vector UAC. For the unit vector UAC, it is equals to the position vector RAC divided by its magnitude. The position vector RAC is the coordinates of point C minus the coordinates of point A. It becomes minus three minus zero I plus minus 6 minus 0 j plus 0 minus 6 k divided by the square root of negative 3 square plus negative 6 square plus negative 6 square. When we simplify it, it becomes UAC comes out to be negative 1 over 3i minus 2 over 3j minus 2 over 3k. Now let's put this value into this equation. Let's call this equation A and let's call this equation 1. So equation A becomes FAC is equals to the magnitude FAC, which is equals to 600 newtons, multiplied by the unit vector UAC, that is negative 1 over 3i minus 2 over 3j minus 2 over 3k. So when we simplify it, it becomes negative 200i negative 400 j, negative 400 k. This is our FAC force in the Cartesian vector form. Now we have to repeat the same working for the FAB force.
So the FAB force in terms of Cartesian vector form can be written as the magnitude FAB multiplied by the unit vector AB and the unit vector UAB can be written as the position vector RAB divided by its magnitude and the position vector RAB is equal to the coordinates of point B minus the coordinates of point A. So we have 3.182 minus 0i plus minus 3.182 minus 0j plus 0 minus 6k divided by the magnitude RAB we have a square root 3.182 square plus negative 3.182 square plus negative 6 square. So when we simplify it, UAB becomes zero point four two four I minus zero point four two four J minus zero point eight K. Let's call this equation B. So now we are going to put the values of UAB into the equation B. Let me write it properly. This right here is our equation B. The equation B becomes FAB is equals to the magnitude of the FAB force, which is equals to, if I zoom in to the picture, it's 900 newtons. So FAB is 900 multiplied by the unit vector UAB, which is 0.424i minus 0.424j minus 0.8k. So FAB force in terms of Cartesian vector becomes 381.6i minus 381.6j minus 720k. So this is our FAB force in terms of Cartesian vector form. Now put the values of FAC and FAB in equation 1 in this equation. So FR becomes negative 200 plus 381.6i plus negative 400 minus 381.6j plus negative 400 negative 720k so fr comes out to be 181.6i minus 781.6j minus 1120k so this is our resultant force in terms of cartesian vector form now we have to find its magnitude. So the magnitude of the resultant force is equal to the square root of 181.6 square plus negative 781.6 square plus negative 1120 square. So the magnitude of the resultant force comes out to be 1377.8 Newton. So this is our one of the answers. Now we have to find the coordinate direction angle. For the coordinate direction angles, I have cos alpha is equals to frx divided by fr. So alpha is equals to cos inverse of 
divided by 1377.8. So alpha comes out to be 82.43 degrees. Now we have to repeat the same procedure for the cos beta and the cos gamma. So cos alpha, oh sorry. Cos beta is equals to fr y over fr. So beta is equals to cos inverse of fr y that is negative 781.6 divided by the 1377.8 and beta comes out to be 124.56 degrees. For cos gamma, we have frz divided by fr. So gamma is equals to cos inverse of negative 1120 divided by 1377.8. So from here, gamma comes out to be 144.38 degrees. So these are our answers. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts about this problem, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.